Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be doing a reading all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts or feelings about you? What's in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? And let's just jump right in for Cancer. Regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What messages? What guidance? Huh. Wow, Judgment wants to come out. Okay. Well, judgment keeps coming out for a lot of signs. And I've been using different decks for different signs and it just keeps coming up. What do we need to know about how this person is thinking about or feeling when it comes to cancer? What's their main overall energy when it comes to cancer? What's their main overall energy when it comes to cancer? Wow, the Three of Swords. So there's a lot of pain, heartache, difficulty here with the Three of Swords. And then the Ten of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So that's kind of interesting because they're polar opposites, these two energies. Um, so when this person thinks about you, Cancer, they might be thinking about how they've hurt you or the pain in this connection that they felt or maybe some sort of difficulty you've experienced in terms of the you know um related to this connection let's get some more what else okay we have the hangman so this person's seeing things differently from a new perspective um no action no communication there though so i get the sense that this is someone who they're seeing things differently about like some sort of difficulty or some sort of heartbreaking situation so this could be interpreted in many ways. Maybe they've hurt you in the past, but they didn't realize the extent, right, of the pain they caused. Maybe they didn't realize that they were still torn up about what's happened long ago. Maybe they realized that they hurt you in the end. You know, that was never their intention, but now they're seeing that, you know, they did hurt you. So there are many ways to interpret that. All right, what else do we need to know about this person's energies? towards cancer with their thinking feeling when it comes to cancer wow the ten of wands yeah so whatever this is i feel like it's been happening over time um realizations over time baggage from the pain and this can you know whatever pain that ha uh, exists here and of course take that as it resonates cancer because this is a general collective reading so i'm um, tapping into a lot of um, your energies and your your situations are all very different um, so it could be that this is something that this person has done to you specifically, or it could be that this has just been a very painful uh, connection. Maybe there's a painful separation. Regardless, there's some baggage because of that. No matter what uh, group you fall under there, this person's thinking about that difficulty. Can I get one more about this Three of Swords? Can you tell me more about this Three of Swords, please? Oh, the tower. Something definitely happened, Cancer. Something that was unexpected or shocking or just really brought something down. For a lot of you, this was a separation, a painful breakup, a painful um, situation. And I think your person is realizing something about this now. Tell us more about this overall energy. For cancer what's the overall energy here spirit for cancer what is this person's energies towards cancer what is this person's energies towards cancer walking away departure journey movement you're walking away towards something more fulfilling there is definitely a separation here I don't know if, um, for some of you this person walked away from you um, and that was very upsetting, but I also got the sense that some of you cancers might have um, walked away or just initiated the separation. Can I get one more? What's this person's energy when it comes to cancer? Unhealthy attachment, bonds, toxicity, codependency. Yes, there's a lot going on here. There is a... Uh, complexity so I don't know what happened but it wasn't like a simple breakup it wasn't a breakup that happened um, out of nowhere I felt like it was building up over time 
some of you that this was um, a situation where there was more than both of you involved there was someone else involved that was okay I'm getting the message that whoever this interference was for those of you that resonate with that that there was an interference here I'm getting something about uh, uh, there they were influential in changing a person so for example if your person was the one that initiated the breakup they were influenced by someone else and they acted differently it was out of character for them um, they changed they became a different person you didn't recognize them something was up with them that you could like you it's like a, you could tell that there was something that had changed obviously that's not for everyone but I'm picking that up here with unhealthy attachment someone watching this this was a situation where um, there was addiction or, or um, alcoholism or something to do with drinking because uh, I'm getting that this person changes it's you know that's not their you know and that typically happens with addiction you know you have someone that is a certain way but under it um, the influence of alcohol or drugs they change all right let's get some more insight here of course cancer let me know if that if you feel comfortable sharing if that resonates for you in the comments what else do we need to know about this person's energies towards cancer this one sword courage defense conflict so what i'm getting here is like someone wants to address something uh in a very bold way but i'm also getting that i don't know it's 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 difficult for them to come back if they were the one that initiated the separation if they walked away from you cancer it's not easy for them they have to be extra brave to come towards you divine masculine yes yeah. so i feel like this is the divine masculine trying to appear brave and like they have it together i want to get one more can i get one more please what are this person's energies towards cancer paper lantern message secret admirer and news okay so you could be receiving a message from this person i feel like this message that they're um going to send to you for some reason they have to be very brave um okay we have mirror mirror at the bottom of the deck illusions ego insecurity so what i'm getting here is this person might be feeling a bit insecure um because I think rejection is possible or at least they they uh feel like rejection is very possible um almost like it would be kind of expected from you not sure why that is but it's almost like they don't really want to come forward because they already know the door will be closed or at least this is what they're expecting what message does this person have for cancer spirit what message do they have for cancer do they wish they could tell cancer at this time ten of swords okay so i feel like they want to talk about whatever happened in the past um yeah and then there's the the world and there you are cancer with the chariot your energy there so they want to talk about the past but i also feel like they want to talk about the future with the world and this involves you cancer because there you are there's your energy very clear energy all over this reading um, despite the fact that I feel this issue between you was very complex um, I think that's what I mean when you have the tower with the three of swords it's devastating full destruction so and, and with the ten of swords also showed up so it was a very painful difficult ending we have the ten of wands ten of swords and then we have the world so cycles endings and beginnings so this person wants to talk about the past, but also it's like they want to talk about the future. And, and, and if they do talk about the past, it's to lay the past to rest, like um, that, that cliche that I can't think right now, where you lay something to rest, you know, you kind of like set it down and you don't really touch it anymore. Let's get some more insight into what this person is thinking, feeling here. What is in their heart space when it comes to cancer? What is in their heart space when it comes to cancer? What is in their heart space when it comes to cancer? These two. 
I know that you are my soulmate. Facing fears. Yeah, this person, um, they, they have a big um, fear of coming forward. Okay, well, I got several. We will be together again. And I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. So I feel like they've been wanting to tell you something for some time, but they've held back this person for whatever reason. I think it's fear because right now is when they're facing their fear. And that could be because of this hangman. Bottom of the deck, I can't see myself with anyone else but you. Strong feelings there. What are their intentions towards cancer? I feel like this was a very devastating ending that affected you both deeply. Uh, and I think your person is not over it, Cancer. And I think to an extent, you might not be over it either. And I feel like maybe you've tried to forget this person or they've tried to forget you. But they know that you're their soulmate. They know you're the only one for them, that kind of energy. And sometimes you know that about someone. What is their intention towards Cancer? what is their intention when it comes to cancer or this connection wow the lovers gemini energy there Ex exactly that soulmate connection that special connection um they're focused on this cancer on the fact that you are and and this is a reading that's like a common theme that i'm getting for a lot of readings where maybe because of what's happening astrologically, people are having deep realizations about who they want to be with in the future. Um, maybe it's because of what happened with the pandemic as well, where people are having kind of existential crises, um, where they're, you know, kind of thinking, what's life all about? What's my purpose here? You know, what doesn't cut it for me any longer? You know, you see so many people ending relationships now um because you're you know people are being very honest with themselves or they're being confronted with certain truths and i think your person is going through something very similar here because all they're thinking about is the past and how maybe that wasn't it's almost like they don't want the past to be their future does that make sense and um and the lovers here it's almost like with the three of wands by the uh, at the bottom of the deck, by the way, it's almost like they're waiting for you. Waiting to be with you. Waiting for you to come around. Um, waiting for you to kind of like hear them out. Waiting for the right moment. There's so many ways to interpret that. But their intention is to be with you as a partner. In a partnership with the lovers. The lovers is all about partnership. It's about a union. So that's your person's intention. I feel like the elephant in the room here is speaking about what already happened, this devastation, you know, and how do you move on from that? That's the challenge. And um, thank you so much for watching Cancer. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.